god, I was so violent. I've just, it's just dawned on me. I was such a violent child. Hi, I'm Jazz, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing childhood stories. So I've got five stories which range from me being such a psychopath child, which you'll find out if you watch, obviously, the next. Like if you listen to the stories, I was, I was such a weird child, such a psychopath. Um, but I've also thrown in like one or two like cute, funny stories as well. But I hope you really enjoy it and I hope you get some sort of like humour out of these embarrassing, weird, but sort of cute childhood stories. So the first childhood story is the time that I got everyone in my class Mushy Monsters memberships. I feel like most people will know what I'm, like what Mushroom Monsters is or was and it was basically it was like these little monsters I remember being at home I was probably about seven I was sat playing with Mushroom Monsters and I saw the little like tab thing where you go and get a Mushroom Monsters membership and I thought oh, I want one I want a Mushroom Monsters membership so I clicked on it and I did all the little form and obviously that meant I had to fill out my mum's sort of like bank account details or whatever but my mum always used the same password for everything she doesn't anymore because of this but she always used to use the same password for everything and i knew her email i then got myself much of us membership i was seven i didn't understand money that well um so i didn't think that my mum would be like paying it because it was a bank account i assumed that the bank would just pay it like it made sense in my head. But then I went to school the next day and I was like, oh my god everyone, I've got a Mushroom Monsters membership. I was the only person in the class to have this Mushroom Monsters membership. Um, so then everyone was like, oh I want a Mushroom Monsters membership, I want a Mushroom Monsters membership. And me thinking, well I remember how to do it. And the bank pays for it, I'll get you a Mushroom Monsters membership. So literally so many people, I don't think it was the whole class. A lot of the people in the class, about 10, and some in the class above us as well, wrote their names and their passwords on a piece of paper um, for me to get the Mushroom Monsters membership. So I went home and I'm sat there and I'm doing these usernames, I'm doing these passwords, I'm getting into these people's accounts um, and I'm giving them these Mushroom Monsters memberships with my mum's money. I was such a stupid child. <laughs> this, everyone in my class had Mushroom Monsters membership for about a week and then this boy in my class, let's call him Sam, he was playing Mushroom Monsters at home and his mum was like, oh, how have you got a Mushroom Monsters membership? Like, she must have just known what it was. Or he must have been saying, I've got a Mushroom Monsters membership. And she was like, how did you get that? And he said, Jasmine. And she was like, well, what do you mean? How did Jasmine get you this membership? And he sort of just said, like, oh, um, she's got one and she knows how to do it. And so then her, his mum, obviously knowing the money doesn't just come from the bank, was like, oh my god, this child is using her mum's money for these Mushroom Monsters memberships and her mum probably doesn't know. So then she rang up my school, obviously I was in primary school, so she rang up the primary school and explained the situation. They rang up my mum and said, you might want to check your bank, um, I don't know what they're called, but like how you can see what comes out of your bank each month, you might want to check that. And they were, I don't think they were cheap either, I think they were like minimum like four pound a month. There was a lot of these kids like signed up onto it with my mum's account so she was fuming i remember she was like so angry so i used to go to my grandma's every day after school so i was there i was chilling like watching tv or whatever and then my mum came in and i remember her screaming my name she was so mad and i went downstairs and she was like she just sort of said it like have you got a mushroom monsters membership have you been giving people these mushroom monsters memberships and i was like no like obviously my default thing was to just say no and then because she kept pestering me, I just started ignoring her, like, just sitting inside. I remember it because I was so scared because my mum is strict. I've never been in, like, trouble, like, properly before and I knew I was in trouble. So I was just sitting there ignoring her, trying not to cry because I was really scared. And obviously I had to just, like, admit it. I was like, yeah. And so then she banned me from the computer for two months and she, I was grounded for a week. She had to ring up, like, the bank and, like, tell them the situation and then they had to go through and, like, get a like, I don't know, like basically had to get a refund from Mushy Monsters, which they did because they understood it and they were like, yeah, why would she have like 20 kids like connected to her account? It makes sense. The story is true. So then she got her money back. So after two months, I was allowed to go on Mushy Monsters again. She changed all the passwords and I never did it again after that. I always asked her if I wanted something. Um, and then I just started, because Mushy Monsters had like got me into trouble, like that was the way I 
thought of it like, oh, my shoebox is you, got me into trouble. <laughs> um, I stopped playing it and then just carried on playing Uncle Penguin. I always think back to the story and I'm like, you were such a dumb child, but you were also such a great, like, hacker. Like, who knows the mum's bank stuff? Me, at seven years old. So the second story, this is going to make me sound like a psychopath. I stabbed my brother with a toothbrush because I've got two brothers and I'm the youngest child. So there's, like, the middle child, he's called Brandon, and then I've got an oldest brother called Dom. At the time, I stabbed Brandon with my toothbrush. I remember I was brushing my teeth and I was playing with my dolls and it was like night time so I was like getting ready for bed so I was brushing my teeth and I was still playing with my dolls. Brandon's like three years older than me so we always used to get in arguments and just for the pure fact of being annoying he grabbed my doll out of my hand for no reason whatsoever and threw her down the stairs. I was so mad like I remember being so mad and I just sort of turned around to him and I had this toothbrush um, and I just remember I held it like this, so the, not the bristles, like the other end, like just the pointy end of the toothbrush, and I just remember stabbing him in the arm in the same spot about three, four times, like a lot. And he started to cry, and I just said, you threw my doll down the stairs, and then I ran down the stairs and picked up my doll, and Brandon ran down the stairs after me to go, well not after me, but to go into the living room, and he was crying, and I was like, what's wrong? And then he said, she started with a toothbrush, and I said, well you threw my doll down the stairs. So then she couldn't really get mad at either of us, because he had started it by throwing my doll down the stairs, but then I also had like, extreme anger to the point where I stabbed him with a toothbrush and it did actually leave a big bruise. I got told off but I didn't get showered at or anything like that. It was just like don't do that again and then that was sort of it. It wasn't good and I always feel like such a creepy person when I say that and like I feel like I had like minor anger issues or something like why did I get that mad because he threw my dog on the stairs I don't know. And then my third story I'm gonna carry on so me and Brennan again like I said we were like three years apart um, and we used to have these made up characters and we used to play this game called Pudger in Stevie's World. Don't know who, like where they came from, but basically, as I said before, we went to my grandma's every day after school. She didn't have Wi-Fi and she had like CBBC. She didn't have like Sky or anything and she didn't have Wi-Fi. So we had to sort of like entertain ourselves a lot. Um, so I remember I was a dog called Stevie. This was the characters. I was a dog called Stevie and I was really clever. It was like very mature. Um, and Brandon, even though he was older than me, he was pudgy and he was just this like purple burr. The way I pictured it was like Bonnie and Yogi Burr because obviously we never like dressed up for these like games. It was just like, we just knew who each of the was. It was like really dumb and like just dopey and stuff like that. So we used to just play like random games like with storylines. So the most vivid one that I remember was we were on a mountain and Pudgy, Pudgy fell off the mountain which meant that Brandon fell off my grandma's bed because we always used to play in a room. Uh, Brandon fell off my grandma's bed and then Stevie has to save Pudgy so then I was holding on to Brandon like even though he was like just sat on the floor and he was like fine but like holding him like as if he was gonna like drop down to his death and like lifting him back on the bed and it was like or lifting Pudgy back on the mountain like and they were just so weird and I remember we used to even play it when we got home like it wasn't just a game for my grandma's it was like we started playing that when we got home because we just enjoyed it that much. Like, we always used to make up games like that. So there was another, I remember, I think it was Nickelodeon who came out with a film with Jeanette McCurdy in it called The Best Player. Um, and it was like, I think they had like robots or something and they had to like, they were pretending that they, they were these robots and they had to like fight each other or something like that. Something to do with that. Um, and so me and Bradham really liked that film at the time. So then we would start playing it. So then I would be a robot and he would be a robot. And I remember we actually had like robot names. We knew each other's powers, we knew each other's weaknesses. And there was like certain places in the living room that were like our den. So if we stood on the like sofa or something, like we couldn't hurt each other. I remember we would play that for hours and hours, but we'd never actually like hit each other or anything, but we'd go like boom. And then like that meant that there was like some fire that came out of our hands and then the other person would like fall over. And it was like really dramatic, but also really cute. <laughs> also, like I mentioned, before I have another older brother called Dom and he's like how old is he like how much difference have we got I think it, I think it's like seven years or something like that <laughs> no it's nine years oh my god so we're nine years apart so when my oldest brother was 18 he had a girlfriend I'm gonna call her rabbit I loved rabbit I think so if, I, if he was 18 I would have been like nine and I loved rabbit like so much like she was like my favorite person and um so she always used to like obviously come around and that and i was used to want to play with her but my brother in the house that we 
we had had a wardrobe but it was like sort of on the it was in the wall um so i used to climb in it and hide and like one one like when they went downstairs or something i used to get in it and hide and he'd, they'd come back in and like they were like talking and i was just sort of listening to them talking it was the creepiest thing ever i remember once they were actually kissing and i could hear them kissing and obviously as being a nine-year-old i was like that is disgusting like oh my god that is disgusting get me out of this room now so i remember i booted this wardrobe open and like absolutely scared the living daylights out of them they were so scared um and then my brother shouted at me and then i got kicked out of his room <laughs> i was so creepy like what child does that and so when they broke up i was so upset because they were together for like three years or something so i was so upset but he's still friends with her and i don't really see her but i know like he's still friends with her so that's cool the last story i've got this is gonna make me seem so crazy i promise i'm not like this anymore i wouldn't do this now i'm not a psychopath or anything like that but I definitely was as a child so I remember I was in year six so I was about 10 or 11 something like that and um there was this girl who I didn't like but I was friends with like I was a bit too fit I'm a Gemini so I was a bit too fast and so I was like pretending I liked her but I really really didn't like at all didn't like I'm gonna call her Brussels because obviously I don't like Brussels sprouts so we're gonna call her Brussels we had to work together um I don't even know what we were doing but we were like making something um, so we had tape and scissors and I remember we would, she would hold out the tape, I'd cut the tape, she'd stick it down, hold out the tape, cut the tape, stick it down, it was like a thing. Um, and I remember she held up the tape and I got a bit close to her finger and she went, whoa, be careful of my finger. And so I went, yeah I will. And then I thought in my head, I'm actually going to hurt her. Like I'm going to like cut her finger with the scissors. The normal tape, like fine, because otherwise it would look really, really like obvious i done it on purpose so cut the normal tape like fine because she just said it and then she, she stuck that down and then she pulled out another thing of tape and i thought this is the time this one i'm gonna do it she was holding the tape and i just looked down to where her finger was bearing in mind these are like primary school scissors so they're not like the sharpest things ever don't get me wrong i didn't cut off her whole finger like or whatever it was like the tip of her finger you can't even see because i've got another like the tip of her finger which doesn't make an excuse but i'm not trying to like cut a whole finger off like it's fine so i cut this <laughs> this tape and it nipped her skin like the scissors nipped his, the top of her finger like skin and so it started bleeding so then she started crying obviously because i did just cut her finger with the scissors so she started crying to the teacher oh jasmine cut my finger jasmine cut my finger but then i didn't want to get into trouble either so then i started crying being like, i didn't mean to i didn't mean to where really i was just like please don't shout at me please don't shout at me and that was the reason why i was crying I didn't get in trouble because they didn't think I'd meant to do it and I don't I think she knew I meant to do it but the teachers didn't know I meant to do it because I was a really good child like I was a really good student I never got into trouble never was mean to anyone so they would probably literally thought I did it by accident so they just like I mean it wasn't like a big thing she didn't have to go to the hospital or anything they literally put, cleaned it off put a plaster on it and then like 10 minutes later she was like fine but yeah um, that was weird. What was I doing? Like, oh my god, who actually does yeah, that? Yeah, they're my five, like, childhood stories. I hope you found some sort of enjoyment out of it. I know I was a weird child, but it's all for humour, I guess. I don't know. And I'm not like that anymore. I wouldn't cut anyone's finger off with scissors or anything like that. Or stab anyone with a toothbrush. Oh my god, I was so violent. I've just, it's just dawned on me. I was such a violent child. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed these childhood stories. If you did, then please subscribe. Give this video a like. Um, and also comment down any video suggestions because I sort of was really struggling for a video idea um, for today. So this is why I ended up doing a sort of story time thing. And I do want to become like more... I don't know, I just want some video suggestions and video ideas for me to do. I hope you enjoyed this video, I have a lovely, lovely week and we'll see you on Saturday with our video. Also, I want to say a quick thank you to anyone who subscribed. I can't believe that we've even got one subscriber, it's mad. So, thank you so, so much. Love you lots. Bye!